scientific verses see he gives us the meaning of the ancient science as well as future science what is going to happen in future he has given so much of those things some of the things i am going to say here may be very may sound very strange to you but before you reject it just be patient with me give it your thought scientific temperament demands that we don't reject anything until we verify it so i am going to give you some new information and swami vallala has given us a complete course of medicine he was well versed with ayurveda siddha medicine he himself was a siddha he had trans he got transformed his physical body into a body of light that is a different topic now let us enter into this topic what are the causes of diseases swami vadala says tapale jagatavar savetuninda that is by mistake people die by mistake people die when god designed this human body vadala says it was designed for immortality one of the scientists from america says by design this human body should go on for ever and ever along for this uh, the title of the tie up of the book you can refer to it and mr ray kurzweil the technical uh, advisor or director of google has written a book called how to live long to live forever and there he says by the year 2045 man would have become immortal that is humans and audrey d gray another biologist from England has also put the same date to the before 2045 man would be immortal when swami vivekananda gave a detailed um, interpretation for the sutra number 12 in the sadhana pada of uh, raja yoga exactly self says that we can be immortal swami vivekananda also says that even the very krishi says take me from mrityu to amrita asatoma sadgamaya tamasoma amrityoma amritam gamaya oh god take me from asat matter to spirit take me from darkness to light take me from death to deathlessness so right from the time immemorial man has been after the quest of deathlessness swami's vision was to have force for man to have a body this free from disease a body free from disease free from old age and free from death and all these things he proved in his own body now what are the causes of diseases according to vadala please listen to me misbelief in the inevitability of disease old age and death unfortunately we have been brainwashed into thinking that death is inevitable old age is inevitable death disease is inevitable this body is functioning like a computer how does a computer run with a program what is the input the output will be only according to the input what is the input in our computer of the mind that we are destined to have diseases to have old age and death unless this program is changed for immortality unless this belief in death is changed you will never escape from disease at all because 
the very moment you acknowledge and accept disease, it starts functioning in your body. The death is the culprit. You let him into the house and then you start fighting him. That is not the way. That is not the way. The future should, children should be uh, said, they should be uh, told in schools, in textbooks that I am an immortal. My father in heaven is an immortal. He is an everlasting soul. This entire cosmos is his body. I, by my, by my birthday, by thread, I inherit it. So I am going to be an immortal. I will never have a disease. I will never have the ravages of old age. I will be an immortal. I will conquer even death. That is possible. So this should be our lesson we should teach our children in future. So misbelief in the inevitability of disease, old age and death is the first cause. Unless this cause is removed, mankind can never be free from disease. The second thing is impure Maya Prakriti. Swami says there are this, this creation is like a three-story building. Unfortunately, we are living in the lower Maya Prakriti. Maya Prakriti means the very Panchabhutas are impure. So we are bound to have diseases. All of our food is made up of impure atoms. And there is, there are two more realities. That is half pure and half impure. It is called Prayeraka Maya. And the last one is Sutta Maya. So we have to upgrade our atoms of the body into pure Maya atoms. Only then you will be free from disease. How to purify it? Only the purifying agents are only love and compassion. In his book, Ageless Mind and Timeless, I mean Ageless Body and Timeless Mind, Dr. Deepak Chopra, Chopra has quoted in the last chapter an experiment conducted by an American doctor in that and the audience has shown a picture of Mother Teresa treating sick, sick children, particularly of leprosy. And how did the autoimmune systems of the audience react? They reacted positively. But when, uh, when, the, see, when the show was over, they reacted mentally against mother. So the doctor says our immune system is boosted by love and compassion. That is why Swami Vallala says, if you have a thought of compassion for all the beings, your immune system will be boosted. Any other thought whatsoever, even if it gives you billions and billions and billions of dollars, it is causing poison in the body. Mind it? Every moment we are creating either poison or nectar, ambrosia in our body. With the thought of compassion, we are creating... Uh, it, with the thought of compassion, we are creating light and ambrosia in our body. If it gets collected to a certain extent, we are, our immune system is boosted, our health is restored, and we can even have immortality. But any other thought other than compassion will have created poison in our body. When it gets to a certain extent, you get the disease and old age, and finally it results in death. So, he wants us compassion, to have compassion as a way of living, not at the verbal level only, but at the being level. He wants us to act only in a compassionate way for our own sake, for our own health. These autoimmune diseases can be combated only by the way of compassion. And the second thing is a wrong self-centered identity. Replace your self-identity with cosmic identity as the child of God. In fact, how do we sign my, I sign my name as R. Kupsami. My father's name is Ramaya. But Swami Ramalinga signed his name as Chidambaram Ramalinga. Though his father's name was Ramaya, he did sign as R. Ramalinga, but Chidambaram. The play, where, did, where was he born? In Chidambaram. What was his father's name? Chidambaram, that is Shiva. I am the son of Shiva, I am the son of God. When this identity is put into your unconscious mind, into your being, at the core of your being, your entire career, your entire behavior will change. Unless this cosmic identity is changed, you will not be free from disease, you will not be free from death. The third thing is wrong choice of food. Swami Ramalinga has given us five longevity herbs. They are called Sanjeevi Mulihe. 
the first thing is Karisale. The botanical term is Eclipta alba. It gives you longevity. Just take half a teaspoon in the morning, mix it with milk or with hot water. You can take it. It is one of the best herbs for immortality. It will give you health, it will give you longevity, it will remove your autoimmune diseases. It, great, it gives you great immunization, protects from hereditary diseases such as diabetes. If suppose a diabetes runs in the family, if you take it right from the early, early ages, that person will be free from diabetes. And then it controls hunger and sleep. Obesity can be controlled by taking this Eclipta alba. It is of two types, one with the white flower, another with the yellow flower, you can take both. And it improves your eyesight. This is very important. Even young children have got spectacles now. They can remove that. You see, it can be taken in two ways. You take it as a form of medicine and then you make a paste of this Eclipta alba and rub it on the roof of your mouth and you, the excessive flame that is stagnated there, that is collected there, you can see in the form of sinus and asthma, a lot of phlegm, excessive phlegm will be there inside your cheek and your forehead. All those things will come out. In just three days, your sinus will be cured, I promise you. In three or four years, you can remove your spectacles. I had 3.5 plus power. Now I am able to read even papers without the glasses. Very, very small print I am not able to see. So this will improve your eyesight. And the second thing is to the It is called Solanum trilobatum. This is known as purple pea fruited eggplant in its bizarre name. What are the benefits? Asthma, common cold, cough can be combated and remedied. It gives you a lot of concentration, particularly for the IT industry. It gives you a lot of concentration and if you want to sit in meditation, immediately you can enter into meditation. So another is capacity of intuition. It will develop your intuition. The third herb is Musu Musuke. It is called Mukya Scaprella. English name is Pointed Goat. Benefits. We are talking about rheumatoid arthritis. This can remove, this is the best remedy for rheumatoid arthritis. It will improve, improve your immune system and it is also an antioxidant. The fourth thing, this is very important. We are talking about psoriasis. You know, the best remedy for psoriasis is Vallare. It is called Centella Asiatica. It's available here in America. You can use it. I have seen some patients suffering from psoriasis all through their lives. But when they take this Vallare for six months continuously, first thing in the morning, all their psoriasis is gone. You can take it from me, it's the best remedy and what are the other benefits? It activates your pineal gland and it, it will give you paranormal powers, all of you will become siddhas and it stimulates your brain and another, it, it particularly improves your memory power. This is the best thing for improving one's memory power and it prevents and cures all sorts of brain diseases. It, but one thing you should note. It reduces your sexual drive. <laughs> so you have to be careful, you have to take it with milk. It can be remedied, but if you take it with milk, you don't have to worry about it. Puliyar, oh. this is very, very important for combating this autoimmune diseases. It is called Kaya Siddhi Mulihe. Kaya Siddhi means your body will be free from disease whatsoever. It will cure all of the disease. You can take it. It will taste like tamarind. It is called Puliyare. It is called Kaya Siddhi. Creeping Wood Sorrel. It is its English name. It is found here everywhere in California. You can take any amount of it. It will cure you of all diseases. And it replaces tamarind, can be taken raw at any time. It, is, it gives you Thayasiddhi and it improves your immune system. Most of the autoimmune disorders can be remedied by this herb.
wrong choice of food and the wrong choice of air. Wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning, just two hours before sunrise. At that time, Swami says, God sends into the world a special air of nectar or ambrosia. That is why we are able to survive at least for 100 years. You see, the, the stars, they are living for, what is the lifespan of the stars? Millions of years, because they are always breathing this ambrosial air. Unfortunately, we are having only this poisoned air. So, be awake at 4 o'clock in the early morning and at that time you pray, meditate or you do pranayama and you will have a lot of prana in your body and you will have good health, longevity, even immortality and divinity can be achieved. Thank you. So, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Pup Swami, you know, Swami, and uh, really appreciate for giving presentation on this thing, because the moment, last moment, accepting this way, and uh, we thank you. And uh, final, finally, <coughs> I wanted to thank you for your patience, accepting the last present also, it's a great honor. Thank you. <coughs> So, so I have to be thankful to all of you patiently sitting there two more days. Okay? But it's loaded with knowledge. 31 presenters are in this conference. 31 presenters in three days. Okay? And then we'll have a dinner in there 